recorded live from the heart of the Bakken, it's the Williston Works Podcast. Welcome to the Williston Works Podcast, brought to you by the City of Williston, North Dakota. Williston Works brings you in-depth discussions with the entrepreneurs, small business owners, and investors who are getting it done in Western North Dakota. I'm your host, Sean Wanko, the Executive Director of Williston Economic Development. Today's guest I have is Anthony Dudas. He is the Airport Director of Slalom Field International Airport and soon to be the Director of the new XWA International Airport. Anthony, great to have you with us on the show today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Sean. So I, I got to ask you a bit, what, what, how did you end up in Williston, North Dakota? What's your background? Where are you from? Yeah, well, I grew up in a small town in southern Minnesota, Austin, spam town. I uh, started learning to fly there at the local airport as I, I started my career in aviation there as well. I was pumping gas into airplanes and doing customer service and ended up uh, getting my pilot's license while I was in high school and went on to... Uh, go to college and continue my education at St. Cloud State University. I uh, and while I was in uh, college at St. Cloud State University, I I worked full time at the airport in St. Cloud and worked my way up the ranks there. Uh, when I graduated in 2009, the the economy in Minnesota and really in the aviation industry was not doing very well, and professional flight was a real challenging career to get into at that point in time. And uh, throughout that time frame, Williston was starting to uh, gain traction. A lot of companies that were uh, based in St. Cloud were relocating or working out here, constructing hotels and apartments, things of that nature. So I, I had a, a inkling of what was occurring out here at that point in time. Um, once I officially made the decision to move into management, I, uh, I had to take a few more classes in school and, and officially graduated with my bachelor's in 2011 in uh, aviation management. Um, that was at that point in time, I was um, graciously offered a position at the, the Williston Airport as an operations officer. You know, I, I have to ask, so you see this job posting and you see Williston, North Dakota, and that's at a time when Williston was just, it was booming and, and there was a lot of international media and a lot of press that was, was coming out uh, of what was happening in Williston. When you saw the name Williston, North Dakota, what did you think about? Uh, really just the, the opportunity and growth and, uh, and being able to start my career at, at a facility that I knew had substantial growth at a time when aviation in general was really drowning and uh, in a free fall, if you will, air carriers were all in, in bankruptcy and airports were losing air service and the opposite was occurring at, at, in Williston at that point in time. You know, and it's funny, we talk about that. Uh, I hear the word opportunity over and over again, because when you look at Williston, it's one of the top areas right now in the nation for millennials. And, and when I talk to millennials coming to the area, they always talk about the opportunity is here. You can really build a big career. And speaking of opportunity, let's roll right into it. So we're talking about the call signs as XWA, and it's a new international airport that the it's, you know, I would say it's probably the largest project in the history of the city of Williston that they have undertaken. Uh, I I think it's one of the first airport and new airport redevelopment projects in the last uh, umpteen years. You can probably update, but why don't, uh, you know, for the listeners, let's go into XWA a little bit. Let's talk about, you know, how did this thing start? Why did we need it? And then let's get into what was the project? You know, what are we looking at as far as the size of the project costs, things like that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the challenge with the current facility is really just a, a conglomeration of issues that have occurred through, caused by the development of, of the western North Dakota. And it starts with the runway not being able to handle the weight of larger aircraft, even the jets that we currently have today. Our commercial terminal, while it's relatively new, built in 2005, was uh, built to handle 10,000 people a year. We did 120,000 people in 2014 through that facility. Uh, design standards aren't met. Safety standards were too close to wildlife attractants like the landfill in the, the Missouri River. Uh, all of those issues really come to come to a, a head, and the uh, the city of Williston leadership in 2010 2011 had the foresight to see that they needed to do something. Yeah, you know, I have to jump in. I remember flying out of Williston when we were seeing over 100,000 passengers and, and it was uh, n nothing short of just a little bit crazy. And uh, it was it was pretty wild during those times, but uh, you keep going. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, 
the the city of Williston, in a partnership with the FAA and the state of North Dakota, went through a, a tremendous amount of effort studying what the alternatives are to do something. Uh, that included more or less rebuilding Sloan Field to meet all of those different standards that we need to meet, and, and then included a, a number of different sites that ultimately site number five was selected, which is where construction's ongoing at this point. So the city of Wilston procured 1,600 acres in uh, 2015 to construct the new Wilston Basin International Airport, and construction started in the, uh, the spring of 2016. Let's put this in perspective, 1,600 acres. How does that compare to the current airport right now? What's that size? The current airport is 800 acres. Crazy. I mean, double double the size. I mean, look at how much we're growing in the city of Williston. And, we, you know, we need an airport that's double the size of currently what we have. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and now we have the space that we'll need for future development, as well as to build a facility that's right size for what the, the community's needs are right now. Uh, so that will include uh, a 100,000 square foot commercial terminal, our 70,000 square foot uh, fire station and snow removal equipment building. We'll have... Uh, customs and border protection out there, space for the general aviation, the private aviation community to build hangar space and all of their necessary facilities that they would like to have out there. When you talk about the 100,000 square foot terminal, again, let's put this in perspective. What's our current terminal size in terms of square foot? So our current terminal is about 9,500 square feet, and that is with our expanded uh, temporary secure area space. And with the with the baggage claim that opens the door and you slide the bags out, so it's uh, it's it's pretty wild what we're doing with this with this new airport. Uh, what are we looking at? You know, I, I see a lot of updates right now, a lot of construction going on. What is the goal to get XWA done? When do we want to see first flights touch? So the first flight will touch down on October 10th of 2019. There's a lot of work to be done. We're still we're currently under construction with our, our commercial terminal, which is really the longest construction time frame that we have for any of the projects out there. The runway and the taxiway are currently under construction. Our snow removal and fire station will uh, begin construction here in the next month. Um, and then some of the amenities for the commercial terminal are something that I wanted to touch on as well. Uh, as you stated, you, with the uh, the baggage claim that you have to lift your bag three <laughs> feet in the air to get off, we're going to have all of those modern amenities that the, the traveling public really deserves to have when they're flying in and out of the Williston Airport. And that includes adequate check-in space. So we'll have 12 check-in counters at the new facility. We're going to have the only escalators in the city of Williston. Uh, we'll have adequate space for security so that people aren't crowded together uh, as much. Uh, we'll also have a full restaurant and bar in the facility so that people will be able to travel out and get uh, their nourishment that they choose. Uh, we'll also have uh, full baggage claim devices so that you don't have to lift uh, your bag up off of a slide. And also the cold air doesn't rush in in the middle of the winter while you're trying to do so. Uh, and then we'll have uh, passenger boarding bridges, so you'll be able to walk out onto the aircraft without going outside. And, and no the... more walking outside. Correct. If I'm out there in the public, I want to keep up to date on what's going on with XWA, keep up to date with what's going on in Solon Field. Where can I go for more information? Yeah, we have a, a project website, xwaproject.com. We post new photos and videos very regularly. It also has a, a live webcam of the commercial terminal construction progress. Please check those and our social media, of course. Uh, we, we post any and all updates to those that we can uh, keep to the public. If you would... Uh, if anybody in the community would like to see, see the project and the construction occurring, please just touch base with me in my office at the Sloan Field, and we can set up a tour for you to go see that. Well, I noticed there are some photos today, and again, I mean, it's just exciting. You see this terminal going up, and, and just start to see some of these things that are that are happening right now come come to fruition. It's just, uh, I, I'm excited. I know the city of Williston, the leadership is excited. Uh, this is going to be you know, really a great addition for the city of Williston. Any final comments, Anthony, you want to make about the project or Williston in general? Well, you know, it, it's just been an amazing journey for my wife and I since 2011 to come to the city of Williston and, and, and have the opportunities that would not have occurred anywhere else in the country. And we've made this our home. We, we're homeowners here. And we absolutely love living in this, in this community and seeing the, the, the leadership's commitment to enhancing the quality of life, quality of place here is really amazing to see and truly uh, a blessing to be a part of. 
You know, I always tell people that you, once you get boots on the ground, there's something about Williston that just really, it, it really pulls you in. And, and, you know, from what you see from the community from afar is much different than what you experience when you get here. Anthony, thanks again. Really appreciate taking time and, and being on the show today. Again, Anthony Dudas, he is the director of the Sloan Field uh, International Airport. He will soon be the director of XWA. Uh, thank you for listening to today's Williston Works podcast. It's brought to you by the city of Williston. If you're a developer, business owner, entrepreneur, or site selector, and would like to learn more about the opportunities in Williston, please give us a call and we'll help you make it happen. Like and subscribe for more podcasts and to learn more about Williston at willistondevelopment.com. We will see you next time.